Hello and welcome to another of our Talking Treasures. What people often don't realise is that although this museum is quite a modern building dating from the late 1970s, the history of the museum in Hanley and across Stoke-on-Trent goes back much, much further. The first museum that was open to the public in Stoke-on-Trent was the North Staffordshire Museum and Hanley Mechanics Institution, which started collecting in the 1830s before building a museum building just off Pall Mall. The piece I'd like to look at today is one of the first pieces that was acquired by the museum around about 1838-1840. And it's very suitable as we're at the Easter weekend because it's a blue and white jasper plaque depicting the descent from the cross, modelled and made by the famous potter Enoch Wood of Burslem. This is one of the pieces that isn't usually on display within the gallery itself, but it's a particularly interesting piece and it's one of the first pieces that the museum ever had in its collection. It came to the museum by 1842 uh, when it was the first item in the catalogue of an exhibition held at what was then the North Staffordshire Museum and Pottery Mechanics Institute in Hanley. And as you can see, it's a jasper, plaque, uh, showing the uh, descent from the cross. It's beautifully modelled in quite high relief and it's within a jasper frame decorated with flowers and scrolls. A very elaborate piece and a very large one. You can also see that it's damaged. There's a crack right across the middle and that's largely because it would have been very difficult to have fired such a large piece at that period. So even though it was damaged, it had been an expensive piece to produce and therefore it was saved. And more particularly, in the bottom corner just here, you can see impressed the words, Enoch Wood sculpts it. Enoch Wood modelled this piece. So who was Enoch Wood? Enoch Wood was one of the most important potters of the very late 18th and early 19th century in Staffordshire. During his lifetime, he was known as the father of the potteries because his influence was so great, particularly within Burslem, which was where he was born and where his factory was. He was born in 1759, uh, the year that Josiah Wedgwood started his own factory in Burslem. And during the course of Enoch Wood's long life, he knew everybody that there was to know within the potteries. Now, very often when people see a piece of blue and white jasper, they assume it must be a piece of Wedgwood. And you can see behind me, in the case here, uh, a number of pieces from Wedgwood's own factory at Etruria. But this wasn't made by Josiah Wedgwood. It was modelled by Enoch Wood, and it was made by him. The North Staffordshire Museum and Pottery Mechanics Institution was started in the late 1830s. And sometime between about 1838 and his death in 1840, Enoch Wood gave quite a quantity of pieces of pottery to the new museum. He had spent many years himself collecting ceramics and he was a great supporter of this new body that was being set up in Hanley. And one of the pieces he gave was this plaque. It was something that he was very proud of. Enoch Wood was a member of the large Wood family of Burslem. His father was a modeller who worked for Thomas Wielden and for Josiah Wedgwood. His uncle, Ralph Wood, was a modeller who had worked for John and Thomas Wedgwood, potters at the big house in Burslem. His brother William was a modeller who worked for Josiah Wedgwood at his factory at Etruria. And Enoch Wood too was also a modeller. In the early 1770s, he went as an apprentice to Humphrey Palmer at his factory in Hanley and Palmer was a great contemporary of Wedgwood and produced many pieces in the same style. Enoch Wood records in his memoir that as a boy in his teens, he saw a wax model of a crucifixion, which was brought uh, by traveling men to uh, Burslem and they displayed it for a penny a time. And people came to see it because it was so beautifully modeled and painted. And this inspired him to do something along the same lines. And by the time he was 18, he'd started working on the model for this plaque, the deposition, the descent from the cross. 
and he worked on it for about three years at home. He lived in Burstham, he would have gone to Hanley every day, and he would have returned back and worked on it. The subject itself is taken from a painting by the French artist Juvenet. Uh, the painting itself, the original painting, is in the Louvre in Paris. But it was uh, engraved and widely reproduced, and that's how almost certainly Enoch Wood would have seen it himself. He certainly never went to France. In his memoirs, Enoch Wood talks about the creation of this plaque. This jasper tablet was modelled by me before I was married. I had it under my hand two or three years and worked at it occasionally when I had spare time to apply to it, without neglecting my employer's business. At length, I told my employer that I had almost completed a piece of sculpture, The Descent from the Cross, at my own house, and if he would allow me to bring it to the manufactory at Hanley Green, I would finish it there and make him a present of it. I therefore finished it for him. After that time, the manufactory fell into other hands, and this model had been preserved, and the then owner, learning that I was the sculptor of it, sent it to me and desired my acceptance of it. Enoch Wood goes on to say that having possession of some modelled flowers and ornaments, which I had modelled about the same time, again in the 1770s, I have this year, 1834, made a frame for this subject and have with my own hands ornamented this frame with such pieces of my early modelling as has happened to fall into my hands. So this account, written by Enoch Wood in 1834 as an old man, is remembering how much labour and how much love he put into modelling the original for this piece and how, as an old man, it was returned to him and he made a frame for it. What was also returned to him was the mould and he therefore reproduced quite a number of these plaques and they do turn up in collections elsewhere. There's one in the Victoria and Albert Museum, a number in private collections as well. Quite a few of them are without the, the frame itself. They're just in a, a wooden frame, simple mount. But this one is one of the pieces for which Enoch Wood, in 1834, nearly 50 years after the original design had been modelled by him, was produced with this elaborate mould. Having received the original mould for this plaque, Enoch Wood then went on to produce quite a number of reproductions of it. The great majority of them were made without this elaborate mould, just a simple uh, mold, uh, frame or, or mount to them. And they do turn up in a number of collections. Uh, there's, there's one in the Victoria and Albert Museum and others in private collections. A much smaller number were produced with this elaborate mould, again with modelled flowers that Enoch Wood had worked on almost 50 years earlier. Quite a number of them were given to family members or to friends or to business associates. The majority of them have ended up in museums. And this one was in our collection by 1842. Two years after Enoch Wood died, it's on display as part of the collection of the North Staffordshire Museum and Pottery Mechanics Institution. And I believe this is the one that he had originally modelled because he said that it was damaged and cracked in the firing. So, although the subject of the piece itself is interesting, the story that lies behind it is even more interesting. For many years, it was believed that this piece, although it says quite clearly, Enoch Wood sculpts it, had not been made by Enoch Wood. It was believed that he had modelled it, certainly, but it must have been made by somebody who was more established and better known, because everybody knew that Enoch Wood had modelled this in 1777 as a young man, and the only people that were making Jasper at that time was Josiah Wedgwood. But actually, it's got a much longer history. Modelled in 1777, fired, made and fired once at Humphrey Palmer's factory, and Humphrey Palmer did make Jasper, but then reproduced in an addition, shall we say, uh, in the 1830s, when the original piece and the mould came back into Enoch Wood's possession 50 years later. So any of the pieces made with this particular frame must date between 1834 and 1840 when Enoch Wood died, moving the dating of these pieces forward quite considerably. 
The other thing that is interesting about this piece is that Enoch Wood felt it was important enough to be given to the new museum in Hanley. And it was that museum that was the beginning of the whole museum service in Stoke-on-Trent. Well, thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about uh, one of the early pieces that we acquired for the museum. And I hope you'll join us again for the next of our Talking Treasures.